Um, episode six of Horseman Academy. Um, now, again, this is a little different than the normal poor horseman because oftentimes when you have drank a number of alcoholic drinks, <laughs> you're not able to get out as much information as you'd like. Now, the brother that I got today, um, personal friend of mine, also does some shooting in the studio. He has a dope podcast called Real Estate Guru PK, where he talks to the entrepreneurs in the city, not only in real estate, but also other businesses as well as influencers in the city as well. But I'm going to let him do a full introduction. Um, I, I want to make sure that y'all tap in. He's going to share all of his information. And the real estate information that we had previously with Kevin Shelton, that was more on a grand scale. Today, we're going to talk about how you get into the nitty gritty, flipping houses, Airbnb, all of those details, because, you know, there, there are different ways that you can do real estate. You don't have to be a developer. That's not the way it always has to be. So we can talk about different strategies as well. So let me introduce you to my brother, Mario. Please introduce yourself to our audience, uh, sir. How y'all doing? My name is Mario Lloyd. I'm real estate guru PK on Instagram and YouTube. Um, I've been, I started real estate, like, I want to say 2014, 2015, I started refinancing, wholesaling, and flipping like officially like in 2015. Okay, so you've been in it for a while <clears> now. <throat> let's let's first talk about the podcast because that's where we met. Oh, yeah. And then from there, we've just been building from here. So tell the people about your podcast, where they can find it, what type of information they'll get from the podcast. My podcast is about, it's mainly about entrepreneurship. Like I got a bunch of real estate people because I'm in real estate personally. So they kind of, we kind of gravitate yeah, to yeah, each other. Definitely. So, but it doesn't really matter, like, you know, the the guests, as long as they're bringing value. Like, I just had the uh, the big groove. Yeah, yeah, he a wild boy. Yeah, he was talking about, like, how he got started. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I had Jeff Shelley, yep. the comedian. So, it's not just about real estate and entrepreneurship. I got, like, comedians and just different type of people like when they come to Houston I try to grab them or sometimes we'll fly them out or whatever yeah, yeah. stuff like that and, and he does this dope series and I encourage you all to go check it out and it's going to be kind of the focus of our conversation today about being a landlord mm -hmm. so it's called Chronicles of a Landlord yeah. and yo he has some of the wildest stories I've ever heard of in my life so before we jump into being a landlord buying and flipping or refinancing etc Give us a wild story that you've had as a landlord. Just just one. Cause like the first one? Just just one wild just thing one that's wild happened one? to you since you've been a landlord. Um, Probably the most messed up thing that happened to me as a landlord was, I want to say my third rental property. Um, The tenants got evicted and they got like all the dumpsters and they like dumped it in the house and all the German cockroaches like got in the house and it was like infested with cockroaches. <sighs> And I was besides the holes, besides the trash. Um, they tried to flood the tub. So they like left the water running. They tried to clog it up. They didn't do a good job. So it didn't, it didn't flood. It just like, it just went through the, um, it, it didn't flood. And then they um, they like put F.U. Mario on, on the walls. Oh, and so everything. they used the government and everything. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even care about it being the business. Yeah, they was mad. They was real <laughs> mad. But it, it, um, it, it comes with the territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I, if you if you scale enough and you have enough tenants, and then like with me, I'm in the hood, and you can't always you could you could screen so much, but more than likely you're gonna get somebody that doesn't really care about the credit. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So definitely. with that being said, like if they don't care about the credit, like if you put eviction on their credit, it doesn't matter to them. Yeah, because for them it. They didn't care about that eviction anyway. Exactly. So at this point, they're gonna tear your stuff up. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. It, it comes with the territory. Like, long if you got cheap contracts, they know what they're doing. They could just run in there, and knock it out, and then the deposit should take care of it. Like the deposit took care of the like everything that they did. It just took me a long time to get the cockroaches up. I could imagine because roaches, they man, they all survived the apocalypse. Mm -hmm. They are crazy. So and yeah, then, like we bombed it. We thought we got them out. Then we bombed, and they started coming out of the attic. <laughs> It was it was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we we definitely gonna get into your business. Um, what what made you want to get into real estate? Um, I wasn't really that good with jobs. Okay, 
Like, like give us give us an idea what you mean by that. Like, not um, good at jobs. Um, my father was real. Like, um, like he kind of like had me like on on a swivel. Okay. So he, so like growing up, I kind of had a problem with authority. Okay. Okay. So okay. I got fired a lot. So you would go to jobs. How long? How long would you last? What's the quickest you so, got fired? The quickest I got fired was like a day. Like, <laughs> like by no by lunchtime. <laughs> By lunchtime, <laughs> like a lunchtime a day. But in my defense, these were Tim Jobs. It's fair. This fair, was like fair, in fair. 2011, 2012. And it was like still like the recession kind of. Okay. Okay. So I couldn't really get a permanent job. So I had to get Tim Jobs and I had a car note. Yeah. 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 So I had to just do whatever I needed. And then now, I was did in you care too. about your credit at that time? Yeah, I did. You did. Okay. Yeah, so I did. you. No, you, I, I, I always paid everything on time. So like, you cared about it at that I le- time? Okay. I learned from my parents. They they always had a problem with credit. Okay. So I was like, I don't want to do that. I want to have good credit. So okay. I made sure I paid everything on time. I never, never was behind on anything. Okay. Never was late. I okay. paid on time with all my bills, car note, credit cards, everything. Okay. So real estate to you was a way where you had some self ownership of what you wanted to do. Like you didn't have to go work for someone. You could own a property and you're the owner. You could work it, et cetera. So is that kind of why you decided? Cause well, uh it okay, I, I was working at Terminix in 2013. You should have used that Terminex uh, experience for the brooches that you had. Oh uh, really? No, property. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. But they they were like relentless. Okay. Okay. They, okay. It was so many. They were having babies, and you know, you know how that goes. So <laughs> couldn't really do too much about it. Okay. So you were at Terminix. I was at Terminix, okay. and I'm I'm doing bait jobs. So I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm servicing the baits. Okay. I'm I'm getting the termites out, killing them, putting the bait jobs back in. Yeah. And I go to this house by my grandma's house. This is in, in Horn Clark. Okay. Okay. And I go. I'm servicing the job. The guy starts talking to me. He's like real, real friendly. And he's like, um, he's just having, so I go in the house. He wants, he asked me if I want to see the house. I, I go in the house and like, he had like screens, screens coming from the walls, the master. He had like the whole, the restroom was like, he like turned it. Like he knocked all the walls down. And he had like the, 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 the jacuzzi room, like, like, you know how they got in the hotels where you're like walking up. To oh the jacuzzi? yeah. So he just, he turned he, this he place. He decked it out completely. Yeah. Okay. And okay. I, I was like impressed. Yeah. So I was like, oh wow, this is, this is dope, man. Like, like, how'd you do this? I'm asking, you know, I ask a lot of questions. Yeah. I'm, I'm real nosy. So I asked him a lot of questions and he was like, before, before we really had a conversation, conversation, he asked me what my credit score was. Wow. So first time meeting him. First time meeting him. You were at your your job. I was at my job. And he asking about your credit And I, I needed it to be rushing, but because I, I had to hurry up, but okay. I, I was I was like whatever. Like Okay. I, okay. I, I was I had one foot out the door anyway. I was about to quit real soon. Okay. Okay. So from him <laughs> asking you your credit score, what 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 happened next? What what happened from there? I told him my, my at the time my credit score was seven seventy. Okay. You was you you was taking care of your bills for real. Yeah, yeah, I was. yeah, yeah. Okay. And he his eyes lit up. He was like, "You do you know what you could do with that?" Yeah. He was like, "Man, you could get like three hundred thousand dollars out of that. You could get like a bunch of loans, a bunch of credit cards." And he was like, "Man, you could buy a bunch of houses, refinance, keep on doing it, get the money out, and then you could do." He could, he's like, "You get twelve, and then you could do a big refinance." Take all the equity out of the twelve and have a million dollars, and then the, your tenants are still paying for your uh the loan, the loan, the loan, the yeah. loan, and yeah. you're still making a cash flow. You're still making a couple hundred. Yeah. Right now, rents are like in the hood. They're like fifteen, fourteen, and sixteen hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. if you decide to do that right now, you're still gonna be making like at least four hundred. Yeah, like there's a there's a strategy that I and I mentioned this on the regular poor horseman before, but maybe more. Um, appropriate for this, like a strategy that I've always adapted is that if you buy two houses a year for 10 years, mm-hmm. you don't have to work anymore the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. You will not. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just how it works from the equity to the refinance to what you get from your tenants. Mm-hmm. You're done after that 10 year period. So it sounds like maybe he didn't say that strategy exactly to you. No, he didn't say it. No, no, he. But you he, adapted that. You were like, "Oh, I, I can see it." Yeah, I, I yeah. filled in the details as yeah. I'm talking, but he gave me a broad answer because he wanted he wanted to leverage my credit to finance his business. Which, which, if you've got good credit, 
you're always going to be attractive to someone who's an investor. Correct. Because investors may have the money. Correct. But they don't always have the best credit. Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. Their, okay. Money, their money's tied up in investments. Yeah. It's always or um, there. It's not as liquid. They can't get it out as fast. If he was really smart, he could have did a crowdfunding project and then it did his thing like that. But I don't think he was above the curve yet. He just was trying. He still was figuring, figuring it out. It out. Yeah. Okay. So, so you you've mentioned a couple times that your properties may be in the hood. Correct. Is that a strategy of yours? Like, tell tell us what you do. That you're a landlord first. Yes. How many properties do you have? I have eight rental properties. And I have one Airbnb. Okay. Um, all of your properties, which you say they're in, what 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 parts of the city are they in? Two two of mine are in Horn Clark. Like one is by Madison, and one is on West Storm and Two Eighty Eight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, one is in South Park, and then the other. Well, five are like in the Sunnyside area. Two, okay. two are in Herschelwood, like where little Kiki from. Okay, yeah, I know that. So, you, you've is that your purpose to go in? Is it because you know that those communities need good landlords? It, it was by chance. Okay, like, okay, explain. I w okay, my first two rental properties I got off the MLS. Wow. Yeah, that with no like, realtor, no nothing. With two real, two with a realtor. Okay, with a realtor. Okay, okay. And they had like a little bit of equity. Um, you can't do that no more because there's really no equity in these houses on MLS and then you're competing up. with all these people now and everybody's trying to get in real estate. Everyone is. Yeah. So now my strategy is like knocking on doors and, and stuff like that. So you're driving for dollars. Correct. Going into neighborhoods where you may see this well, looks like a property that hadn't been touched for a while. You, you might need a gun. <laughs> I'm serious. I, I've had. Have you, have you had? Have you had a gun pulled on you? Before? I have not on me. Like he had it on his waist. You can he, tell what was up. Yeah, he he was like, if I get closer, you know, he's on. You know what's up exactly. <laughs> Man, like you taking risk though. I am taking risk. <laughs> <laughs> now, now let let's talk about your strategy mm -hmm. because there are going to be some people who we don't want you to give away all the tools, of course, because okay. we know you also have a course that people can. I do adapt and learn your process. But if someone wanted to get started today mm -hmm. in getting a rental property, what's the first thing you would tell them to do? And they don't have like no, their they credit not good at all. Well, let, let, let's say they got average credit. Let's say average 640. Credit. Let's say 680. Do they have a mortgage? Do they have a personal they, property? They have no personal property. They live in an apartment now. I would tell them to get a mortgage and then so they could they only have to put like six six percent down. Okay. So you your your concern would be how much money they have to put out of pocket. Correct. Okay. So okay. Say 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 you get a house in South Park Sunnyside, they're going for like one thirty, one forty. Correct. They are. Yeah. So they could put six thousand, six to seven thousand down. They could still have three thousand dollars left over. And then and then and then they could do it again. That's what I was wondering. What what's that? So you you've got a process, and we'll talk about your course here in a moment, but okay. you've got a process that helps people one, acquire the first property, but then you've got a strategy to get two, three, and four. Correct, correct. Okay, okay. What's that timeline look like? <laughs> if their credit is a one, like, but let's say most people, <laughs> you you are the exception. Most people so so around, just just a ten thousand dollars. No, we ain't even there yet. We okay. ain't even there yet. Okay, most people are walking around. What did, I, I recommend them to start wholesaling. Then. Okay, let's. What's the wholesaling process look like? The wholesaling process is like finding somebody that does not want their property anymore. It could be inheritance. It could be um, it's falling apart. They're living in there. They got to get out. They're back behind on taxes. Like they like this property is like it's like the a thorn on their side now where okay. they gotta get rid of it before they lose it to the to I'm about to say the man to uh, We got we know what you said. <laughs> to, they gotta lose it to the city. To the, to city. the bank, to whomever is lent the correct. who has the note. Correct, yeah. correct. Which is probably the man. Yeah, the man. <laughs> <laughs> the man. Um so they'll sell it to an investor, or, or more likely they'll sell it to a wholesaler. Okay. Because okay. wholesalers, they spend a lot of money like sending out letters looking for a, a deal. But wholesaling is, would you say that's saturated business right now? It's it like is too saturated. Many people? Okay. It is saturated. Because by the time I talk to the seller, they have already talked to like four or five wholesalers. Okay. Basically. Okay. And then they, they mark the price up already. So the benefit to you is 
you're not trying to wholesale. You're I'm, going in I'm, to purchase I want to purchase the property. Like, hey, like my 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 pitch is like, hey, I'm using my cash. There's no, there's no in between, man. I'm not about to make money off your property. I'm about to buy your property. You're keeping it in the minority community. Correct. And I'm gonna fix it up and put a tenant in there. Like that's my pitch. Now, if you want to go sell it to whoever, and they're just gonna flip it and make money off your off your back, you could go do that. But I'm gonna keep your property. Okay. Okay. So, so your your proposition is, we're gonna. It's still gonna be in the community. It's still gonna be in the community. I'm gonna improve it. Correct. I'm gonna improve it. And we're gonna put someone in there, hopefully, fact, who looks like us. You could come back in three months and come check out the property. Okay. Okay, so so you you you're you're building a relationship Correct. more than you, a you, transaction. You have to build a rapport. That, okay. that's how you get these properties real cheap. Okay, okay. Now, if you look at if it's a lot of people like like um I forgot Tyrone 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 said on, on my podcast. Yes, Tyrone so, McDaniel, shout out. It's a lot of people that that's like people getting mad because people that don't look like us they're coming to our community and regener regentrifying. Yeah. The Straight community up. and y'all getting mad, but y'all selling it to them. They are selling it because they're getting <clears throat> top dollar. Correct. They are. They are. But if you care about that, then sell it to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So your goal is to be a landlord. What's your total number of doors you think you want? At first, the goal was 12. But now it's like, man, like sky's the limit. Like I want to get like apartment complex. I want to get like four plexes. I okay. want to get like duplexes. Okay. Okay. Like I want like by the time like my son is 18, he's going to see like Lloyd's on, on a, on a big old apartment complex, like, like the Trump towers or whatever. Man, I like that. I like yeah. that. So, but being a landlord, it sounds like it sucks. Uh, Let's be honest. I mean, nah, it, you it, just had a roach infestation. <laughs> Not only were there, but but like you, you got you just got to have a mindset that that comes with the territory. Okay, like okay. You, you like get a property manager, have them screen the tenants. Get a realtor, have them screen your tenants. I didn't do that at first because I was trying to save a dollar, but now I have a property manager and I have a realtor that sc thoroughly screens my tenants. What should your team look like if you're a landlord? Um. Sometimes I mean sometimes realtors they're not investor friendly. So I don't recommend having a realtor. You don't need to have a realtor. Okay. Um as far as being a property manager, you can do that yourself. But you just said that now you're going away from being your own property. Correct, because a lot of times they like first of all, they think I'm real young. Okay. Like they think I'm like in my early twenties or okay. whatever. Okay. And so they 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 try to handle me accordingly. Gotcha. Gotcha. And gotcha. like with that being said, like they don't a lot of times they wouldn't take me serious. And then like, until like I like, all right, from now on, you're gonna talk to my lawyer. Mm -hmm. Like this conversation is done. And then now they 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 get off but I don't wanna have to go there. I just wanna be cool and cordial and you know, on the first and then after the third, you start paying my late fees and, and it's all good. I fix, I fix whatever. What's happened, going on whatever's in the going property. On, yeah. So it shouldn't be no problem. So you said property manager. Property manager. Possibly a realtor. Probably a realtor that, that's on board with, with, with what you're trying what to you're do. What you're trying to do. An attorney. An attorney. Like, I, like it don't got to be an attorney. It could be a paralegal that knows. That knows. The real estate law. Investing in the law. I got a, uh, I got a paralegal and I got two attorneys. And. What are the, what are their roles though in, in in this process? My paralegal, she she does all my evictions. Gotcha. And um, now if I need an attorney, where say I'm buying a property, I got I got on the contract, and then they're trying to sell it to somebody else. Then that's when my other attorney steps in. Like, hey, look, you promised to sell Mario this property. And you and this is a law. This is a law binding contract. Yeah, you got to sell it to him. Does that happen often? It happens a lot. Okay. Someone will come in with a higher price Correct. or something like that, more like money. My first deal, one of the first deals when I was door knocking, I got in a contract, a contract for 25000 Wow. And these Hispanics came in and sold it, and he sold it to them for 50000 Wow. Wow. If I would have got a memorandum on a property- You would have been good. I would have been good. It's like a lien. He would have either had to sell it to me for 25000 or I would have made the 25000 when he, when he sold, sold it, it for the, 50. the Hispanics. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so we're learning some then. So your team needs to have potentially someone to help you with leasing it. And then they, they know all the real estate jargon They know too. all the jargon. Yeah. You- what about the fixing process? Like, are, do you consider yourself a, a contractor? 
Uh, I just paint and I, I know what everything's supposed to look like. Sometimes I'm on my contract as assistant, I'll clean, I'll demo. I do like all the little things. My dad will come in, come in there, change out the locks. At first, he was like, you know, putting up ba- baseboards with me. Okay. Um, I was just saving a dollar. Okay. Like you kind of need to do that starting off to to to, to cut know off, what's cut going off, on and cut off costs too. Yeah, yeah. There was this um this um this big time landlord when I first got in the game. He had like fifty doors, and he told me like, "Hey, you need to because there." My my dad was like, "Should you get a job?" And he was like, "No, he needs to know how much everything costs because then they're gonna upcharge him oh, and, and, and run away with the money." Type yeah, stuff. And, and and that's not because we don't trust people. You just have to know what something, how much time something really correct, takes. Correct, correct. Um, like tile. how much material you really need. Correct, correct. Because I, I've been involved in projects before in real estate where we know you didn't need to overrun that much tile. Mm-hmm. Like, and they buy. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, then they take it home. Correct. <laughs> they correct. use it for something else. They'll upcharge you on a tile. And then the rest, they'll use it on another project. And that's what I'm saying. They'll, they'll take it somewhere else. Correct, yeah, so correct. I've definitely seen that. Correct. I've definitely seen. And like, I want, I want the leftover tile. I want the leftover um, sheetrock. I want all that because I could use that if, if I get a hole on one of my properties. Exactly. exactly. I got a garage. I just put it all in there. Yeah. So, so I want everything. So without giving out too much game, because we're going to promote the course here in a second. What 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 are some of the best ways? You know, you're driving for dollars. You're knocking on doors. What are the best ways to get relationships with bank or lending institutions to get you the money to purchase the properties? Or are you always come in with cash? Uh, personally, I recommend to either get a loan or come in with cash. Okay. Like you could do like a crowdfunding where you get a bunch of friends or family members and then y'all all chip in. And then once you, after the refinance, you pay everybody back with a little bit of interest. You could do that. Or you could do... Get a loan. Okay. Um, one of my flips, I was running out of money. I don't recommend this, but this this is possible. Like I got a um a title loan. Oh wow. Yeah, I got like five thousand dollars on my charger. Try I know to, you didn't want to do that. I I know you didn't. I was maxed out at the time. Okay, okay. And I was I got the house for seventy two hundred dollars. So I, well, maybe it made sense at that yeah, point. So yeah, so I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. ain't no and then my the the hard money lender, they were trying to take it from me. Okay. So I was like, okay. ain't no way I'm about to let them take this house from me and I got it so cheap. The house right now is, the ARV is like 220. Wow. So you're you're in the position of, I wasn't letting this go. Regardless. Correct. Like, Correct. I'm going to figure this out. Correct. Whatever Correct. I have to do. Correct. Now you mentioned crowdfunding and, I, and so the term I usually use for something like that is like collective investments. Like, where we can work together as a community. Okay. And we all collectively fund like your project. Okay. Or we fund someone else's project. Have you done that before? Has it been successful? I haven't done that before. Um, if I need like a, if say I'll get a hotel, a hotel. Okay. Or like an apartment complex. That's when you would do it. That's when I'll do it. Like if I need like a hundred thousand dollars cash yeah. and I didn't want to tie up another one of my deals, gotcha. I would do that. And I'm like, all right, I'll give y'all back like 10% or 5% or something. Okay. Okay. What parts of the city are you looking at now? Right now, I'm just mainly looking at the south side because I'm from the south side. I don't I don't really know about the north side. And it's like real dangerous over now. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so you south side. Well, and, and for people who, because well, there will be people who listen to this, yeah. not from Houston. Yeah. Um, 610 North and South? Uh, A Leaf, Southwest, South Side, Horn Clark, South Park, Sunnyside, Third Ward. Um, to Pearland. Second Ward to Pearland. Yeah. So, so that block in between yeah. there. Yeah. And that's a lot of properties. Yes, yeah, a lot of a properties. A lot of properties. Yeah. And you you don't feel like the value has already been no, squeezed out of no, the area. No, 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 okay. no, no. I almost got a property for fifty five thousand a couple of days ago. And what what killed that deal? Uh, the guy just I don't know. I I can't tell you what killed that deal, but he just ended up selling it to somebody else. Okay. So I think next time I'll probably have somebody else calling them and and just trying to like keep on like just staying on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marketing. Yeah, because yeah. I'm I'm real nonchalant sometimes. Okay. I have like a passive aggressive attitude sometimes. Okay, okay. And I think it turns people off sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. And then sometimes people see that that – because w- my thing is like, hey, look, I have these other houses. You can go look at them. You could go talk to my tenants. 
like this is what I do. Like I'm not because they I don't know what they, they they just think I'm so I, I don't I don't be wearing jerseys like <laughs> I'm, I'm, I come up with like with a button up yeah, 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 or a yeah. polo. And they just be thinking I'm real young. They think I'm a, a kid. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel that. I feel that. All right. So let's talk about your course. Okay. Um, what What's some of the things people can expect um, when you're ready to launch that? Um, this is every. This is all. This is like every refinance, every flip, every wholesale deal in these three courses. Okay. This is like all of my experiences. What to look out for? Like title problems. Um, what lawyers are use? What type of lawyers you should be looking for? What type, like when sellers are serious, and then like my 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 credit utilization course. That like I show you like all the credit cards that I use, like, like like my Home Depot play like getting a, getting a Home Depot credit card like once a week like while your credit is still good like the Amex the Amex Platinum like when you should use that one. And just like Navy Federal loans, the USA loans, and then the um, the um, SoFi loans. Okay, so you got a strategy where someone could come in and they don't have to have a 770. They don't. Where they can participate they, in real estate. Correct. But they can learn those ways through the course. And then, look, if you got any, if you purchase, I don't care if it's my wholesaling course, that's like 200. If you purchase any of my courses, you can ask me any questions in my So dealers. they get access to you also. Correct, correct. Okay, because that's probably what's the most important. Like correct. one thing that I've seen with a lot of other courses, you don't get the access to the person who developed it. Correct, correct. If, if I don't care what course it is, you got any questions or you got, if you want me to explain any of the rental jargon or, yeah. the, rental, or the real estate jargon, just let me know and I'll explain it to you. Okay, all right. So here's the... Um, the big question now, 10,000. Okay. All right. We ask everybody who comes on Horseman Academy, I don't care what business they're in. Um, we've had fashion, we've had real estate, we've had marketing, education, et cetera. If you had 10,000 liquid, mm -hmm. how would you get involved in the real estate industry? I would personally, I would just try to look for like a real, real cheap lot. So land, yeah, land. Not wh why land though? Then, like, because you you could take your time, like you could like buy the land. And I, I told I told this I told this girl this. So like, if I had ten thousand today, today, you could find me a land uh, a lot a lot for like yeah, like it don't gotta be in Houston. It could be it but, could it could be like you know like. Like my home girl, my home girl's in Milwaukee. Okay, and she's buying. There's like lots over there, like real, real cheap. But but what you still have to develop that lot at correct, some point. Correct. Okay, and, that, and that's why I'm saying like you can take your time. Okay, like you say you buy the lot for ten thousand dollars, right? Say you got a mortgage, you got kids, you got responsibilities. You know, you pay all your you pay all your you know your your utilities, your mortgage, make sure air, food, all that. All your surplus of your money, you can use that money. Like first, you you do the um, you do the plumbing. Okay. So you you look you look on LinkedIn or whatever. You look for a plumber. You pay him. You use your credit cards for the material. You got the plumbing. A month or two months later, do the same thing. You do the um, you you pour the the concrete. You do the slab. Now you're three months into the project. Now you start doing the framing. Now you put the framing up. Now you're four or five months in, into the project. Now you put up the um, the OSB. Okay. You, you okay. put the OSB on, on the top. Yeah. Then you do it around the house. Then you put the shingles up, and then you do, and then you put the siding up. And then at that point, you got a house. Then you got a house. <laughs> yeah. Then you do the inside. Inside. Correct. Yeah. So so you, that's a slow process, but after you you got a house. And you, and you say you put like thirty, forty thousand dollars into the house, or twenty. Say you put thirty. By the end of the year, you put fifty thousand dollars into the house. You can sell that property for like one fifty and make a hundred thousand dollars. I think we're gonna do that. So Horseman <laughs> Academy, I'm telling y'all now. Uh, if y'all hear that um, LP found a lot, y'all know what the process was in a year. Um, cause, cause like I said, a part of my thing is like every year you're trying to look at two things mm -hmm. and I didn't realize a lot could be a part of that process. Correct. You could do your, uh, your studio there. 
Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff that could happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that. So that that that's a different thing that we've heard for the ten thousand. Like most of the time, it's around like marketing or social media. Now you saying go buy the land. I'm saying, but go buy the land. Go buy the land. Go buy the land. Just cut the grass every every once a month. Okay, the city will be off your back. They're not gonna give you any citation. Yeah. And just, you know, put like a big old no dumping sign in front of the land. Make sure people don't try to dump. You can put Steal like, your pipes and stuff like correct, that when you're correct. Yeah, yeah, okay. You put like one of the little cameras up. Yeah. Put that up. That that would deter a lot of that stuff. You okay. Know, trying to steal stuff. And like I said, in a year you got you got a whole house. Man, we um <clears throat> that's happening. I'm just gonna I'm saying that right now. I, I might try that this week. I, I'm looking for land right now. I well where I I can't tell where I live on the pod, but <laughs> but where I live, I, I know for a fact there are lots right now yes. that I can probably get for less yeah. than 10 bands. Okay, then you good. Like for real. Like for I'm, real, for real, in hearing thousand? this, I'm sure there are some less than 10. And then you 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 got the connection with um that was on here too. So he he'll he'll uh, walk you. He'll he'll probably give you some of his contractors. I'm talking to both of y'all. What you talking about? I'm not, <laughs> I don't limit myself. To one Look, we we are a community. Okay. That's what, how I'm built. Like if I can pay you the same as I can pay him. It, it's all the same. You, you, for me. you ain't got to pay me nothing. We, I'm paying somebody because okay. we get this lot. That man, that's a great idea. It is. Like so, could you you um, had on your podcast? Um, I, I want to say her name was Sherika, but I know I'm saying it wrong. Oh, Terika. Terika. Yeah. Terika is building like neighborhoods. She got a whole community. Like, what does that process look like? How could we do something like it's that? It's the same thing, but it's, it's just at a bigger scale. She's okay. buying like acres. She's buying acres. Correct. She's buying acres. She's putting the plumbing down, like getting a plumber, doing all the plumbing, yeah. tied it into the sewer line. And I encourage people to check out the episode you had with her. Um, I can't remember what number it was, but she kind of gave some of that game out she also. Did, she did. Similar to what you're saying now. She did. Now she got like a community. She's crowdfunding. She's letting them buy in. Yeah. The hotels and apartment complexes she, she's getting. Yeah. And um, I mean, I plan on getting it soon. We're going to do it. Okay. Like, yeah, soon. that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, <laughs> uh, look, uh, Horseman Academy is also a chance for me to figure out what business we got to do. Okay. Next. So, but nah, like, make sure um, y'all tap into him. Tell people again where they can find your information. And when do you plan to launch your course? The, the most recent three outside of the wholesaling. I'm like, I just launched it like, I think yesterday. Okay. Okay. So you got a website or a link that you could share today. And of course, we'll put it in the description of this episode also. It's on Gun Road. Um, I got my my rental, my flipping, and I got the wholesale. The wholesale is the cheapest, like $200. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then I got the, like, like my, my baby, like the... Um, the loans and the um, yeah, that's the one you you yeah, you keeping that to yourself yeah, for a while. Yeah, that, yeah. that's two thousand. Okay, but like I said, if you buy any of them, you get access to you, you. get access to me. Correct. Okay, and that access to you lasts for how long? Until I get like till there's too many people where I gotta like cut it off and then like start to correct. maybe delegate some of the responses. Correct. Et correct. Okay. All right. Now Ma Mario, um, doing big things in the city. Um, I I've personally seen him work. I've personally seen a number. of of him carrying his son to the title office <laughs> <laughs> to sign closing documents. So uh, proof is in the pudding right she, here. My, my wife had him in the title office. Oh, no, I'm, I'm playing. I'm, I'm playing. I'm you, playing. I'm, you need to be divorced right <laughs> now. <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> but nah, so this has been episode six of Horseman Academy. Y'all tap into Mario at real estate or at real underscore estate underscore. No, guru, guru, guru. no, is it real estate or how's it? Tell them exactly what your head is. Real is. underscore estate underscore guru, guru PK. PK. Yeah. yeah. Real underscore estate underscore guru PK. We got to change that. We got to get For you real? something shorter. Yeah. What are you, what about these underscores? Man, they, they, they'll figure no, it out. No, we got to change that. So look, that's with episode six. Um, Y'all tap in on this podcast available on all streaming platforms as well as YouTube. Um, very, very um, on his way to exactly what he said. Apartment buildings have his name on just similar. We ain't gonna use Trump Tower, though. We gotta, we gotta oh, use yeah. People's Tower, a uh, Freedom Tower in New York that Don Peoples is building. That's cool. We like, gotta do that. Yeah, I, I just use that as as, as an example. But like, you, like, you like, right. Like Grant Cordon got Cordon. He do. Mm -hmm. Grant Cordon got two properties here. For he got a um, a Class A 
Like I think of like in Richmond. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, but that's been episode six. Um, Y'all tap in with them. Horseman Academy. We out.